Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on, you know, where you are in this world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we are going to be continuing in the book of Romans, and we are in the New Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. God bless each and every one of you. We are in chapter 13 in the book of Romans. Now, this is talking about God. Remember, God puts up kings and takes kings down. And he wants us to live a lawful life. And that includes following the laws of man. So whether it be your local laws, your state laws, or your federal laws. He doesn't want you breaking the law and being a lawbreaker. Just like following his commandments. When you're not following his commandments, you're lawless <laughs> or being unlawful. So here we are. Let's read this. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that are ordained of God, therefore, or excuse me, Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power or authority? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to do to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger or an avenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject. Not only for wrath, or because of wrath, but also for conscience sake. You ever doing anything and your conscience convicts you? Like me and my stupid cigarettes? Uh-huh. Don't ignore that. I'm still working on it. I'm telling you, it is an absolute, absolute terror. Torture. Verse 6, for this cause pay ye tribute, or um, taxes also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tax or tribute, to whom tribute or tax is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Remember when Jesus, uh, they were, wanted to collect the taxes and um, Jesus said, well, who's on that coin? And it was a picture of uh, Caesar. And he said, render to Caesar what's Caesar's and render to God what's God's. So verse eight, owe no man anything but to love one another. For he, that have, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Hath fulfilled the law. For this, in all caps, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not murder, which is lying in wait, plotting to take someone's life. Thou shalt not steal, Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended or um, summed up in this saying, namely, all caps, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Verse 10. Love worketh or does no harm. 
Love worketh no evil to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that, knowing the time, that it is that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed or first believed. Every day we get nearer and nearer. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly or properly as in the day, not in rioting or revelry and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness or lasciviousness and lewdness, not in strife and in envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. You know, I think it's in First Peter, might be Second Peter. Give me a second, I'm going to read something to you that is important. It is First Peter chapter 1, and we're going to look at um, verse 2. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope. And that lively hope is called um, living unto living hope by the resurrection of of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Oh, it's talking about obedience. Remember when Jesus was teaching about um, repenting and being baptized and following the commandments? Following the commandments. And then the apostles also taught us of all the things that we should um, abstain from. And then it also talked to us, the apostles also gave us the characteristics of being a good Christian. And if you're curious, you can look that up so that you can walk in the spirit and be in God's grace and following his law. And that would be the commandments and love thyself as thy neighbor and also performing his precepts. Widows and orphans, poor and needy, visiting the sick and those in prison, and showing kindness to the foreigners who are crossing through your land. So, um, that and then we want to, um, I'd like you to look up spirits, uh, fruits of the spirit. So I give you a little assignment. I do all the work for you. I'm trying to encourage you to get in your Bible. <laughs> As always, I love you.